Oh, OP. What? OP. What do you mean OP? That's my name. So welcome back to the channel guys. Just having a little wander up this road to Abermule Recycling Plant. And it's a place that's had a bit of a, I don't know really, sort of a bit of opposition from the locals. I always like to have a look at a story just to see what's been going on around the areas. And this was a public consultation over the proposed multi-million bulk recycling centre. And um, there was a bit of opposition to it. Initially, the plans were uh, refused by Natural Resources Wales. It said it had concerns about the scheme's fire pre uh, prevention and mitigation plan and the supply of water in the event of a fire. I'm aware there's a, a water tank on site now, uh, just in case. Um, but the resubmitted application from Paris County Council includes enough information to start a full assessment. So, cost of the centre is now nudging towards the £5 million mark. That was back in October the 12th, 2022. But it's been up for quite a while. I've passed it on... Well, a few occasions and it's just up here a little bit of a walk I thought I'd go and have a little look around because it's interesting because the, the materials they receive here um, they're segregated before they arrive here and they're, they're compacted and compounded and bulked together and then um, transferred off-site to processes to turn into new products so it's an interesting place. So let's have a little wander around and see what we can see. It's not a very big site. It's probably not particularly interesting in terms of size or technology, but uh, got a bit of wasteland over this side. But as I say, this site just used to be one big field. There was a lot of opposition to the site. But, uh, yeah. Have a little wonder. See what's going on. This is the recycling centre. And... We've got some recycling coming in over there to be sorted, but it's very clean, brand new, very tidy, purpose built recycling plant. Good stuff. So we'll keep on the footpath, have a wander around. It's quite busy actually, it's a lot busier than I thought it would be. There's another council truck coming in. Oh, this must be like the... Uh... Oh, this must be like the water. The on-site water look. Because I know they had to get so much water on site in case of a, a fire or anything like that. So, um, under here, there must be a water storage facility. Yeah. So we have got some signs here. Um, what have we got here? When red light shows, wait here. No unauthorised access. No smoking. So we won't go on, because I presume that uh, this boundary here is where we can't cross. But um, it does say no unauthorised access, so I'll 
I'll behave. I'll stay here and we'll have a look from the outside and see what we can see. Yeah. So the buildings are nice and new. Very clean, very tidy. All this sort of uh, area here has all been planted and that'll all get ready. Get some growth in there so it'll all be nice and private. But um, yeah, so the footpath ends here. And we've got a padlock on there so that is locked which is good to see. And the signage is very clear. It does say uh, no unauthorised access so we can't. We can't go over there. Um, as you can see, it's clearly marked there. But um, yeah, it's a shame because I can't get any any closer there really. So I presume that's where the operations take place and all of the recycling and that sort of stuff. Um, it has got a uh, staff and visitor car park actually on there, so we might have a little wander around there in a second. So I presume these are all like private garages or holding bays or something. It's all brand new. I do find these recycling plants interesting, because if you think about all of the um, recycling that's sorted before it gets here, I presume what they do here then is they just compact it even more and then it goes off as it, as it said on the on the newspaper there it goes off to be um, compact compacted and compressed uh, a bit more so yeah so not much to see really here. So we'll have a little wander up and see if we can pop onto the site, see what we can see. I say this gate here is locked, but um, staff and visitor car park, I think that says, be there. Yeah, yeah, so staff and visitor car. Hi mate, you alright? Okay, good. I can't hear, sorry. What am I doing? I'll come round here, I can't see you through the gate. I'm just doing a video on the uh, recycling centre. Uh, just anything I can see from the outside, but I just come up here, it said no authorised access, but um, there's a sign there that says staff and visitor car park, and then you've got a reception as well, haven't you? Yeah, so I just need to go to reception to let them know that I'm just going to put the drone up and get a bit of footage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and that is that up that way then, is it? Right, by the red box there. Right, brilliant. On, on the, okay, so, uh, brilliant. Thanks very much. Yeah, Appreciate the, uh, it. Ask Mark Jones or, uh, or yeah. Mark Francis. Okay, all right, yeah. brilliant. So there we are. We'll pop to reception and ask if we can. Uh, Get a bit of info maybe on the place because it's a it's fairly new sort of recycling center um yeah it's all brand new is i think the reception is here yeah so we'll just ask so we'll let them know hello just wanted to put the drone up to get some footage I'm just letting you know that um i was going to put it up if you saw me standing outside and just wondering what i was doing that's all what was it for mate just youtube just making a video on the recycling center things that are just interesting that's all Right, okay.
Is he uh, is he coming out? Is he or? Um, yeah, he's yeah. Coming all right. Him. All right. Cheers. Thanks. Yeah. So this is where the recycling takes place. The Powys. Got a lorry's coming in. I think it's uh, sorted before it actually gets here, and then uh, once it gets here, it's sort of compressed and goes off to other places, I think. But yeah, it's dead interesting. So there we have all of the uh, recycling trucks there coming in to be emptied and sorted. We got um, so you got your bin lorries and you got the recycling lorries there. Those are the ones that um, in Paris, all of the different um, things go in the lorries. You got plastic, paper, glass, and then they all go in there and then they come here and then they they sort it all. So yeah, I say it's a uh, quite a big place to be fair. We've got a way bridge as well on that area there, which is great. Good to see. Hello, Hello mate. Hi. All right, how's it going? Yeah, good, good. Good. I'm just, uh, I just come to reception just to let the chap know that I was just going to put the drone up and get a bit of aerial footage, uh, just yeah, from pu before. just from public land. It is. Okay. To, yeah. What for the council? Or? No, no, no. It's just for me. Um, social media for YouTube mainly. People find this sort of thing interesting, include, okay. including me. So um, uh, that's all it's for. It's nothing to worry about. I don't know where you can. It's just can can what? Can can what? Sorry. Put one up over here. I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. What do you mean? The drone. It's fine to put the drone up above just to get some footage. Is it? Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, telling me. Fine. Yeah. Okay. This is yeah. private land, or it's council land. Yeah, the land is private. This is this is private here, is yeah. it? Because it said obviously to report to reception on the sign, so I've just yeah, yeah. I've popped up here. That's yeah. all right, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the land's private, but the airspace isn't controlled by by anybody. It's okay. controlled by the Civil Aviation Authority. So, um, providing they say it's okay to fly, right. which it says on my app it is. Uh -huh. um, it's not if it's near an airport or a prison or anything like that. Um, but but no, it's absolutely fine. I can put the drone up and take some aerial footage. And as I say it's just it's just for YouTube. So that's all it is. Are you filming now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I film everything. It's okay. all interesting. It all makes the video interesting. It's just well, you know, it's, it's uh, for your protection, my protection. Make a call? Yeah. And yeah. I'll just okay. Come back. Yeah. I just no. want to make sure it's all right. Absolutely fine. Just wanted to let you know that in case you saw anybody. Yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, he's gone inside um, to check whether it's okay to put the drone up. So we will wait for him. Um, I did obviously explain to him that the Civil Aviation Authority control the airspace and it is actually okay to put a drone up. But um, that's all right. We'll let him have a conversation. So while we're waiting for the gentleman to make the phone call, We'll stay on the footpath here and we'll have a little uh, a little wander around on the yard just to see what's going on. So hello mate. <laughs> Boss wants to know who are you and why you're doing it. Ah, uh, right, okay. Card or anything? No, I don't. I don't carry anything like that at all. It's just all it is is I film places that interest me and I find interesting. So it's mainly engineering sites and stuff like that. Okay. Can you give me your name? No. no, no OP. What? OP. What do you mean OP? That's my name. OP. OP. So you won't give me your name. What do you need my name for? Who are you? I just a YouTuber. Okay. I just put, I put, I put, okay. I'll, I'll take some. It's a private site, there is, you know. Well, you did, I did, I did say, 
did you want me to leave? And you said, well, you're going to make a phone call. Yeah, so I, I, I have waited for you. Yeah. But, uh, so if you want me to... I'll yeah. ask you to leave. And if you're revoking my access, that's fine. All I did is come to reception to let you know that I'm going to put a drone up. Yeah, yeah. And the drone's just going to take some aerial footage and I'll say, put a video together, that goes on YouTube. Promotes the site, because let's be honest, it's an interesting site. All the recycling comes here from Paris and gets compacted, I presume, in there. Does it get compacted in there? It doesn't. Oh, right, okay. So what, what, what sort I'm of... I'm not going to go into it in detail. Oh, right, okay. So... That's fine. No problem. There you go. So... I've asked you to leave, and if you're not going to give me the name... Yep. Yeah. You want me to go? All right, that's fine. No, okay. that, that's absolutely fine. I just thought I'd let you know I'm putting the drone up, okay? Because if I put the drone up and someone sees me stood outside with the control, they might say, oh, someone's flying a drone okay. over, all right? Righto. But that's fine, just to let you know. All right. Righto. Thanks for your time. Righto. So, he said it's private property. So we will go back outside onto public land and uh, we'll pop the drone up. There's not a lot to see really, we've seen most of it from the ground, but um, we can put it up and get an idea of scale of the place, you know. Um, he wasn't willing to tell us anything about the plant either, which is which is a shame, but uh, he took offence at my name as well, OP. I don't think it's a bad name. Is it a bad name, OP? Anyway, we'll go back to public land and we'll pop the drone up and see what we can see. So as always, we'll check drone assist. And we can see the area that we're in is a caution area, but it's not a no flight zone. So, we can see the chap there on the phone, he might be, uh, he might just be getting some confirmation uh, regarding whether we're allowed to put the drone up or not, but we know that we're allowed, we're in a no flight zone, in a, we're not in a restricted flight zone, it's interesting, put solar panels on there, look. Don't get too political about solar panels, people don't like it. But um, yeah. So it's not a massive site, but um, you know, it's interesting. I think he's just uh, having a conversation with his manager just to see whether or not he feels we're allowed to put the drone up, but um, it's not a problem. So it's not a massive site guys and uh, it's not of huge amount of interest really, but um, it is to me. I like the engineering of this sort of stuff and how they go about it all and I'm all for uh, sustainability and um, recycling i recycle a lot myself in fact i'm a little bit anal about my recycling if i'm being honest but there we can see all of the lorries coming in it's very busy actually and i i've, I've actually never i've actually never stopped by um but yeah So we've got some sort of recycling going on there. Um, I wonder what that is. Ah, so those are all the bins. I wonder whether they clean them on this site. This sort of uh, cleaning area maybe. Pressure spraying and that sort of thing. Or maybe they're in for repair or maybe to be recycled themselves. Who knows? I think they're like, um, I think it's like a cleaning bay or like a cleaning area maybe for the recycling bins. 
Ja, nee. But it's interesting. You can see the lorries there. And you got the so you got like the dustbin lorries. Um and then you've got like these recycling lorries on the right and they sort the cardboard and the glass and the plastic into different sections and uh, I presume well it actually says on the website to be fair that they compact them here to be processed to be processed more elsewhere so I'm presuming in this area here is where the sort of processing takes place um, where they might be sorted a little bit more and then sort of taken off and well it did say they were processed elsewhere so I presume this is just where they sort of bulk collect them and then they must have a, a sort of delivery to take them off but yeah it's good to see and it's great actually because I'm not I've, I've I'm not sure that I don't know I mean I know Powys uh, I know Paris are, are really good on their recycling, their food waste. And uh, I'm not really sure whether this happens elsewhere. But it's great to see. And then I think what this is here, I think this is like the, uh, the water tank, as I was saying. Underground water tank there. Um, I think they're a little bit worried about that um, and I think that's why the planning didn't go through initially but um, I think under there is the water storage which is where the gentleman is now on the phone but he was a nice guy um, he just was interested he said that there might be privacy concerns with, uh, with putting the drone up but um, can't control the airspace unfortunately and why wouldn't you want to see this it's great so these I presume these are these are garages or like little units that people can hire maybe each got their own solar panels on which is great to see really good as I say it's not a massive site but um, you know there was a little bit of sort of uh, a little bit of a hoo-ha, shall we say, about the, the production of the site initially from some of the residents in this area, according to the newspaper. But you know what? It's quite far away from, uh, from the village. Um, I think they were worried about sort of smells and that sort of stuff, you know, which is understandable. Um, but it is a very, very clean site. And, you know, there doesn't seem to be too much stuff going on um, in terms of the, uh, the the sort of the sorting at this part. I think it's just processed and sort of moved on elsewhere. So, um, yeah, that's about all there is to see, guys. If I just rotate round, we've got another lorry coming in there. And he comes. So these are all full, you know, of recycling. And they'll come in full and uh, ready to be sorted. Yeah. So here he comes. And as I say, you've got um, further on down, further on down you've got the village and obviously the village there um, were sort of concerned um, shall we say about the recycling plant but I mean let's be honest it's uh, it's very clean and there's no burning going on here there's nothing like that happening so yeah it's all good so there we go the, the chaps the chap's going back in now. So I presume he's the manager, but uh, yeah.
that's all right. He's a friendly guy. He was obviously just concerned a little bit about the drone, but uh, you know, we know we can put the drone up, so uh, it's not a problem. But there we are, guys. Uh, it's it's just a small recycling centre in Powys, Wales, mid Wales actually. It's right next to the road. You know, it's got good access. It's very clean. I understand that the residents are or were concerned, but it's got to be sorted somewhere. And okay, I don't live in this area, but it's all good. It's all good. And you know what? I think that gives reassurance for people as well and how clean it is and how well maintained. Landing. So guys, there we are. Um, that's a small recycling centre in Powys, Mid Wales. And um, as I say, the chap was a little bit concerned about the drone to begin with said he wasn't sure about the privacy and then obviously his boss wanted to know my details and uh, that sort of thing but we know that the civil Av aviation authority gave us the permission to do that so um but he was nice enough you know he was a nice enough chap um he had some concerns but um hopefully i addressed those and whoever he was speaking to on the phone addressed those as well that uh, we are allowed to fly but now we know a little bit more I don't know too much about what happens to the recycling once it gets there, other than what I've read on the website, but he wasn't willing to divulge any more information other than what I've read. So, uh, and you take offense at my name. OP. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.